In my first adjustment layers video, I showed you how to use adjustment layers to make non-destructive edits to a photograph. By using adjustment layers, we make adjustments like the curves adjustments or levels or color balance on a layer that's above the original photograph so that we're not making any changes to the original image. Um, the layers are above it um, in sort of a virtual layer that Photoshop then interprets when you see the picture on the screen or when you print it. And you can remove these at any time if you change your mind and decide you don't like an adjustment layer, or you can even go back and make changes to the amount of correction that you did on one. Now what we're going to do in this one is a little different. We're going to use an adjustment layer using a gradient layer mask in order to correct for uneven lighting in a photograph. It, this photograph that's here on the screen now is a picture of an old telephone in my grandmother's garage. And the phone hangs on the sidewall in the garage and all the light is coming from the left side of the picture through the main garage door which is to the left. And because all the light is coming from one direction, the right side of the picture looks I think too dark and the left side looks too bright. And so we're going to use a curves adjustment layer with a gradient layer mask to correct for that. And by using a gradient we're going to get a very smooth transition from the darkening on the left side to the right side which is not going to be affected very much. To start out with we need the, we need the uh, colors in the color picker which we can see here at the bottom of the tool palette. You can see that the, the uh, foreground color is set right now as sort of a pinkish color and the background is gray. That just happens to be you know, the last colors that I used. For what we're going to do, we need the foreground color to be white and the background color to be black. Now the fast, easy way to do that is if you look above the, the uh, big color swatches, there's this little black and white here. It says default foreground and background color. Um, if you click that, you get black then becomes the foreground color and white's the background color. Now we need that to be the opposite. We need the white to be the foreground and the black the background. And we can do that quickly too by clicking the, the uh, curved two-sided arrow here. Now that we've got that set, we're going to go ahead and make a new curves adjustment layer. And we'll see that right now all we have is a background layer. The background is your original image. And if we go down to the bottom of the layers palette, click the uh, circle that's half white and half black, it says create new filler adjustment layer we're going to choose curves and we'll see that we have a new curves dialog box which has no changes made to it. This is this is a curves with no corrections done. And before we do any work to the curves adjustment layer, we need to put the gradient in the layer mask. If you look in the curves or in the uh, layers palette where it says curves 1, this is our layer we're working on. You can see that there is right here where I've got the little hand um, a white rectangle. This is, the, this is called the layer mask. The reason it's showing as white is that, every, is that if we did an adjustment to the curves right now, it would affect the entire picture because the entire layer mask, this little rectangle actually represents the, the entire surface of the picture. If the entire layer mask is white, then any curves adjustment you do will affect the entire picture. Um, what we're going to do is we want to essentially paint on the layer mask so that it only affects, so that the curves adjustment layer will only affect some parts of the picture. And we're going to use a gradient to do that. Now, to, in order for this to work, you need to click on the layer mask to make sure that it's selected. You'll see the little, little uh, corner boxes there that shows that it's been selected. Then go over to our tools palette and ch choose, the, choose the gradient. It's, uh, you may find in your tool palette that it might be either the gradient or it might be the paint bucket tool. If you got the paint bucket tool up, if you click on the paint bucket and hold the mouse down for a few seconds, you'll get this place where you can choose. We're going to choose gradient. Now what we're going to do, the way the gradient works is you click on one part of the image and you then hold the mouse down and drag across and you'll see a line form there. That's the direction the gradient's going to go. And the way it will work is that the gradient, where you've started clicking, will make the uh, layer mask the foreground color, which is white for us. And where you've released the uh, mouse, the gradient will be black on the layer mask. And w on the layer mask, anything that is black, the adjustment layer will not affect. And so let's go ahead and do this. We'll release the mouse here. And if you look down again in the layers palette, you'll see that this layer mask now looks like it's white on one side, 
black on the other, and there's a transition going from the white to black across the image. And what that is going to do is that when we make an adjustment to the curves up here, there will be a lot more effect on the left side of the picture than there is on the right side. The right side, the very edge of the right side of the picture will have no effect at all. And then the stuff that's in between will have some, will have some effect. So there'll be a very smooth gradation from the area that has been affected the most to the area that's been affected the least. And you'll see this when we actually manipulate the curves here. I'm going to grab the middle of the curve and I'm going to pull it down, which is to darken. And you'll notice that the left side of the picture now is getting darker, but the right side is really not being affected at all. And this gives a very smooth, very natural transition. Now we could go the opposite direction if we wish. We could lighten it, and that would actually exaggerate the uh, uneven lighting by making the left side of the picture even lighter than it is before without making the right side very much lighter than it started out as. You can see here as I'm moving it up and down how it's our curves adjustment is affecting mostly the left side. Now we want this to be darker because we want to make the lighting, um, we want to balance the very bright left side to the darker right side, so we're going to darken this a bit. And this is a much more balanced approach. Now I think this might be overall, the entire picture now might be slightly too dark, so what we can do after we've done this is we can go down here and create a new curves adjustment layer and we can see here this has got the white layer mask so it's going to affect the whole picture and we'll just lighten it slightly and that'll lighten the entire picture and now the picture I think looks pretty much perfect the way it is so this is a very simple way to correct for uneven lighting and it, you can do this um, no matter what direction the lighting is coming from as long as you as long as you start with the uh, Start doing the gradient on the side that the uh, that you want the layer that you want the layer to affect the most. You could do this. You know, let's say the light was coming from the top and we wanted to make the top darker. We could start dragging at the top and drag down toward the bottom, and that would give us a gradient that starts out at the top with the most effect and least effect at the bottom. And if we mess with our curves here, you can see how the bottom's not being affected at all, but the top, which is the white area on the layer mask, is being affected the most. Actually, I kind of like that that way. Um, when I first edited this photograph, I didn't do a vertical gradient. I only did the horizontal one. But the uh, top of the picture does balance a little bit better with the bottom part, which received more light in the original image. But you can do these any way you want. You could you could do one that affects the right side of the picture more. You could do one that affects the top or one that affects the bottom. You can even do, as I've got here now, you can do multiple layers, each with its own gradient. 